Okay, so in this video, now we're going to be looking at the RTX 3080 Ti, or the RTX 3080 Ti, in terms of the performance. So, just like with the previous video with the 6900 XT, now we're going to look at the NVIDIA equivalent. So, you can see down here, NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti, uh, we're running at 1440p with temp temporal anti-aliasing on high. We're not using any upscaling. We will look at upscaling in a little bit. You can see we do have NVIDIA DLSS in addition to the other four that were shown previously. Uh, and for the settings, we are running it at ultra, and then we're going to test RT on and off. So let's start with RT off first. So now it's going to be off, and yeah, so those are the settings. Let's go into the game. All right, so this is the RTX 3080 Ti. So you can see on Ultra out in the field, it looks like this, we will go back to Hogsmeade here in a little bit. But this is how it looks at native res, everything Ultra. Running through Hogsmeade now. So performance is very similar. Let's go back inside here. So indoors, you can see the FPS is good. All right, so here's what I wanna do. What I wanna do is I wanna test this scene and now we're going to turn on RT. So let's go ahead and toggle that on. Ray trace reflections. And let's see how it looks. All right. So it looks pretty much identical from what I can tell uh, to the way it looked on the Radeon card. You will see some strange things with RT though. Like, see, there's like a light source coming through the building uh, because of the RT. It's kind of a visual artifact. Um, so let's go ahead and run through Hogs Meet again. Now we have Ultra setting with RT on, set to RT Ultra, just like with the 6900 XT. So now let's go ahead and run through. So 50, looks like it's whole, close to 60, but not quite there. Get out of Hogsmeade now and see how it looks. So this this graphics card, I will note, does does only have 12 gigabytes of memory. So it does have to do a lot more in terms of memory management on the VRAM subsystem so that it doesn't overwhelm itself. So you can notice here it's holding just under 10 gigabytes of VRAM in this title. Um, but unlike the 6900 XT, for some reason this card seems to struggle with trying to get a 60 fps average uh and the and i might add that these two cards so the 6900 xt and the rtx 3080 ti are considered rival gpus this was a 1200 dollars graphics card that's what its msrp was and the 6900 xt was a 1000 dollars graphics card msrp so these two are very similar to what we see today with the 7900 xtx versus the RTX 4080. So comparing the two of them, it looks like the 6900 XT has aged a lot better than the RTX 3080 Ti. So let's try uh, turning off RT just to see what that field FPS looks like. So with RT off, well, See, so now it's able to go above 60. But, you know, let's see what DLSS can do to help us here. So let's turn on NVIDIA's DLSS, which will render the game at 1708 by 961p. This is DLSS audio, uh, auto. So they do have, oh, they have a bunch of these. So if we 
check to quality. Quality doesn't seem to do anything, so it's the same. So auto is selecting quality. Balance is going to be a lower resolution, so it will look worse. Then there's performance, which is basically 720p. And then you have ultra performance, which is 480p. That's really bad. So let's go ahead and set this to DLSS quality, because that is what we tested with FSR2 on the AMD card. So, okay, so now we're getting much better frames. The, the grass looks, looks pretty good, I would say. Uh, but yeah, the FPS is definitely a lot better now. Let's go back into Hogsmeade. Let's run over here. And then we'll also test with RT again. So with, with DLSS, the game does run noticeably better. Let's try running this with FSR2. So let's try AMD's FSR2 on the NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti. So, so it seems like it's about the same. It seems like it's about the same. So in terms of the average FPS that I'm seeing in the frame time variance. Okay, in the last test, uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's test Intel XESS real quick. Intel XESS, again, so it's the same sort of internal rendering resolution. So this one is kind of interesting because things in the distance look a little bit more blurry, but things up close look a little bit more natural it's kind of hard to say the differences are so subtle when you're moving around real fast like this you're never going to be able to tell the difference between the three of them you're going to have to stop and take like still frames to actually compare the three uh, but let's go back to dlss because that's the nvidia exclusive one and then what i want to do now is i want to turn on rt so we're going to turn rt back on on ultra for the ray trace reflections and now let's see okay so it seems like dlss does help the rt maintain around 80 fps so that's good to know so that that tells me that the game can still be playable there was a weird pop in right there but the game is still pretty playable with DLSS in terms of how it looks. I don't think this, to me, this does not look better than native. I think native captures the game's art direction the way it's meant to look, um, but this isn't bad. So you can see this is with DLSS with RT on. So the NVIDIA cards, I will notice that when you're inside the town, the NVIDIA cards do tend to have uh, a little bit lower FPS than the AMD Radeon cards. The AMD Radeon cards seem to be more uh, better at handling like the Hogsmeade instance compared to NVIDIA GeForce cards. But when you go outside, everything just seems to be okay. So, hope you guys found this video uh, insightful. Uh, and let me know in the comments below what you guys are planning to run this game on in terms of your hardware. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.